Welcome back, GMB Nation. This is your host, GMB Grace, aka GMB Reacts. And today we're going to be doing a reaction to Watch Mojo's top 10 anime characters who came back ugly. Let's find out. In today's video, we'll be reacting to Watch Mojo once again. Shout out to Watch Mojo for its top 10 on a weekly basis. Let's get it. Welcome to Watch Mojo and today. Before today's video starts, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. If you're new to this channel, if you're a returning subscriber, share this video with other friends and family, your pet rock, anybody, just share the video. Road to 1K, you already know the goal. You already know my goal, man. Come on, help me. Help me, please. I want to say the other word, but I can because they will be monetized. Me, I got to be... Careful what I say. I cannot curse like I want to. Anyway, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get back into today's video. And y'all leave a comment down below on what character in anime do you think is the ugliest or came back the ugliest. Today we're going to be counting down our picks for the top 10 anime characters who came back ugly. Bulging biceps! The king's totally pumped! What <laughs> are Ah, uh, when I saw this in the thumbnail, I knew they did her dirty, bro. But I wonder where they go rank her. I know they ain't gonna rank her as the ugliest. She might be like maybe top seven, five. But she not even. She, all she did was just gain some weight. She not even ugly though. She just gained weight. But she was bad though when she was like like not on the weird stuff. She was at, she was like they had her looking very slim figured and you know the basic uh generic. Uh, baddie and anime type of body, you know what I'm talking about? Now that she come back in Boruto, she looking like hot mess, hot wash. Like, come on, man. And like hogwash. Oh. Ah! Spoilers. Why y'all spoiling it before we even get to the top 10? They gave this man the more freaking uh, uh, Donald, whatever. I forgot. They gave this man the George Jefferson, bro. They gave this man the moving on up. <laughs> Yo, why this man got a ball spot in the middle, bro? Let me not even joke. This man got the LeBron James hairline. All right, let me chill out. Now that Boo's gone, there's no real competition out there anymore. For this list, we'll be looking. Yeah, there is competition with your hairline right now. The gravity is competing with you every single day. The anime characters who, after a sabbatical, returned looking way worse for wear. Are there any ugly truths we missed? Let us know in the comments. And hey, as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo. So head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10, Sado Takizawa. Tokyo Ghoul Re. <gasps> Even if he had an inferiority complex the size of an ocean, the miserable outcome this former CCG member suffered was just sad to watch play out. After being mortally wounded during a raid, Takizawa is captured by Algiri Tree and subjected to the ghoulification process. <laughs> the results of which not only turned him into a one-eyed ghoul with a shattered psyche, but also gave him a wholly unappealing new look. This altered guise isn't only sinister to behold, but his mannerisms are so erratic and creepy, it'll make you wretch. I don't know this series. I, I, I heard of it. Don't know the series. Like, I don't, I never watched it. Number nine, Mr. S yeah, Dragon Ball Z, yes, sir. They did Mr. Satan dirty, though. Let's get into it. Dragon Ball GT. It could be a little embarrassing for me to take on such an amateur cell. While he was nowhere close to the strength displayed by. Like, look how suave and egotistic he was back then, and then now look. Literally everyone else in the cast, for a mere human being unable to utilize ki, Mr. Satan wasn't a half bad fighter back in his youth. Cowardly, contrived, and an attention sponge, sure, but he was at least in shape and. Now look how mid he looked now. This old, just look like he needs to be in a retirement home. The only person that's holding him back from that is Majin Buu himself. Boy, just shape it all off. Go ball like Master Roshi. At least he's holding his own weight. Somewhat competent at martial arts. You make it look cool. Get that Steve Harvey cut. Now that Buu's gone, there's no real competition out there anymore. 
goes to show how cruel time can be. Since the former people's champ not only lost all his muscle and stature, but also his hair too. It's not a good look to say the least. I wouldn't know what to do if I lost her. She's everything to me now. Joe Biden's criminal justice reform plan will create a system that's fair and just. And we can get there together. We're not all gonna make it through, but this is the only way. All right. I would skip these commercials, but they were short, so I gave them a chance. Number eight, Mari Kusakabe, Fire Force. Kakoine. No offense uh, to Shinra, but your dear mama went from oh my to oh god, kill it with fire real quick. Though we guess fire was the problem to begin with. I haven't gotten a chance to finish watching it. I was still watching Fire Force, so I, 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 I knew I shouldn't have. Dang, they about to spoil it for me. It's all good. It is all good. Better luck next time. After the Avengers, I've been watching the series too, man. I've been watching it. That's all I gotta say. I've been watching the series. I'm, 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 I watched at least about several episodes. I didn't want to spoil whatever he looks like now. I don't know what he looks like. Now. Visit. Not only is Sho taken off to be indoctrinated by the white clad, but Shinra's mother is transformed into a demon. If that wasn't bad enough, after gazing upon the evangelist, she grasps her own horns and drags them to where her eye socket should be. It's unsettling in every way imaginable, and not quite what you'd call MILF material. Number 7. King Muscle That's what y'all call who came back ugly. That's just disrespectful. Like it, this man went through a trauma with his mom, and y'all just disrespected the mess out of his mom like that. If you want to do uh, who came back, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, who came back uh, out of shape and stuff like that, or ugly, you should do uh, what's that man's? I'm no disrespect to My Hero Academia, but that uh, the main character Deku's mom came back mad tough. Like she just came out like a BBW, fam. Like. She was like slim and trim, and she was looking, and then she went from slim and trim to. I was like, "Yo, you gotta go. You gotta go with that, fam." I said, "No, nope. look, you about to. Leave. The only thing you about to live for that gravity power is a, is a burger. Out of here with that. Your donut and Dunkin' Donuts looking self, Krispy Kreme build that girl. All right, let me chill out. <laughs> let me not roast." That's not good. That's not nice. Ultimate muscle. This is anime character. Back in his prime, the ruler of Muscle Planet was a top-tier wrestler who, for all his whimpering, still knew how to throw down with the best of them. By the time his son had started to pursue a career in wrestling, however, that had all gone out the window. Bulging biceps! The king's totally pumped! <laughs> The man who had once taken down such- But we're not finna act like there's a whole bunch of BBWs that not attractive though. Like, come on now, fam. Y'all y'all playing yourselves, bruh. There's some, there's some attractive BBWs, bruh. Y'all playing yourself. I ain't saying- I ain't saying- like, Bruh, I, I want to say- uh, uh, I want to name some names, but I'm not. Because I don't want to get canceled. There's so many different celebrities I can mention right now. But I'm not even going to do that. So, we just going to- I ain't even trying to cancel myself before my career starts on YouTube. So we just gonna keep it chill. Roll to 1K, let's go. <laughs> Rats as Omega Man was now a bag of flab and bones that looked like he'd keel over from a light breeze. It wouldn't be too bad if every other wrestler from his generation wasn't still in great shape. I mean, take a page out of Robin Mask's book. Do you really still believe that I'm nothing but a freak? Number six, Tim Marco. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Look I remember that episode. I remember that episode. Man came out. Dude was at the front door with the Glock. He came prepared. He was ready to shoot this man, this kid's eye out. And then, and I don't know if he missed on purpose or on accident. If he missed on accident, he is a horrible shooter, bro. You need to go to the gun range and, and pop off because you 
shooting and missing at point bank right what are you a uh, roger from star wars roger Rod you remember them rogers from star wars that can't aim worth the damn ah. <laughs> trying to avoid cursing is hard man As, when i get ex when i get really excited and emotional in what i'm saying and passionate about what i'm saying i, I tend to curse a little bit and i just i just I, I don't have time to edit so i can't blur it out it's all good let's go your face might have been melted down to the point where even gluttony wouldn't want a piece of you, but it did end up saving your life. After being freed by Scar, Marco is given an impromptu disguise to hide him from the homunculus by means of getting his face deconstructed and loosely attached again. <laughs> The only thing more painful than the process is the end result. Though given how he had taken part in such horrendous experiments to help create a Philosopher's Stone, you could say he got off lightly. Number 5. Whitney Matsumoto, Cowboy Bebop. It's an especial- Yo, I forgot how far, for, for, how- I forgot how disturbing certain parts of that show was, but it's like, it's just, it's just like, all right, I haven't seen that many like grotesque anime. So I know for like people that watch really grotesque anime or read grotesque manga, they're like, bro, that's not nothing compared to what I read or watch. I'm like, all right, cool. That's fine. I'm used to Shonen Jump type of anime. You know what I'm talking about? So if I see some more grotesque than usual in an anime, I'm going to be like, dang, bro. That's not right. Like the, the most real test that I've gone so deep into is freaking um an attack on Titan. I know y'all like, bro, what are you, Weenie Hut Jr. with it? I know I'll be watching, I guess I'll be watching Weenie Hut Jr. type of anime. Cause I the anime I'll be watching, it ain't got it's not that grotesque, man. Like when it's like when it gets to the part where like they deep facing, deconstructing characters' faces and stuff, and at all this raw stuff i'm like dang bro like you have to do all that fam this is deep it's got too deep for me hold on this not i might as well watch a real movie or show if it's getting this deep i might as well watch a real shoot blah, shoot them up cut them up slice them dice them you know what i'm talking about but i just i i'm i'm, getting, I'm still getting used to that you know what I mean? i'm still getting used to that so bear with me all right actually lovely man I'm like, Lee, when Reverend it, bear with me. All right, that was a logic very Shout out to my logic fans. You know, I already know what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave a logic video. After, I'm going to leave a logic video after this video is over. I'm going to leave it in the, in the little playlist section at the end of this video. The last 20 seconds. All right, that's it, that's it. I think it suits you very well. When Faye first encountered this George Clooney lookalike, he was as charming as he could get, sweeping her off her feet like few had. Too bad he was also a scumbag whose goal from the start had been to fake his death and saddle her with his astronomical debt. When they reunited years later, well, let's just say he went from Silver Fox to Silver Walrus in a bad way. This guy has a rep as a Don Juan. <laughs> He's really just a cheap confidence man. Oh sure, his tongue remains as sharp as ever, but his appearance now matched who he was as a person. Unattractive and greedy. Uh, wait, wait a minute, uncle, don't go. Number four, Mugi no Shizuri, a certain magical index. Bro, they always make anime food look so freaking good, but in real life, I know they don't look like straight trash. Like if it, it's only certain good-looking foods that I've seen of 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 that specific uh uh the the food uh the culture appreciated food that they show in the anime looks so freaking good. That it looks better than the actual food in real life. Like, I'll be like, bro, what is this? I'll see it in real life. I'm like, nah, fam, that's not me. But when I see an anime, I'll be like, yo, let me get some of these, man. It looking good. I want to know where it come from, man. Is that a shipment or is it exported or imported, man? All right, but nah. Oh, uh, hell no. Nah. You know food nasty when you hear a fly around that junk. Unless you had a barbecue, there is no reason why there should be flies around your food, fam. Unless you're in a third world country. Shout out to my third world country people. You know what I'm saying? Mad respect to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been through a lot. But 
You first world country and there's flies around your food, your food nasty, fam. Unless you're at a barbecue, bro. That's the only excuse to have flies around the food. Because you're outside. You know what I'm talking about? Anime to take someone as desirable as the leader of Item and slowly reveal her inner villainess until she's a borderline monster. As a level 5 Esper, Mugino packed power in spades. It's just that her unhinged mental state, aggressive personality, and terrible luck continue to leave her body worse for wear. Shiny got a chicken bone on. Ah! <laughs> By the time. Yeah, Shiny got that little freaking ghost from. Uh, what's that? What's that ghost from SpongeBob? Got that little freaking. Uh... <laughs> I don't even know. I forgot the name of that character. You know what I'm talking about. The captain. The captain from uh, the ghost of SpongeBob, man. She she had snapped and was actively trying to kill the members of her own crew. She was a psychotic beast covered in artificial implants. Hamazura, dude, delete her number and run for it. Get out and vote, y'all. If you're over 18, of course. Of course. Not telling you who to vote for, I'm just saying get out and vote. You know what I'm talking about? Or vote online, you know, however it works for you. Eve Online. Hell uh, no. You see that long commercial? Hunter Hunter. My boy out here looking like Night Eye. Night Eye. I'm all saying it like that. I got a friend I'll be messing with. I'll be calling him Night Eye, bro. That's gonna be so funny, bro. Every time I see this man, I'll be like, Night. Eye. There are many prices to pay for being a hunter. One of them just happens to be mental breakdowns. After somewhat successfully infiltrating the Chimera and Stronghold, Nov gets the hell out of Dodge using his Nen ability after getting an eyeful of Pitto and the monstrous Nen he possesses. <laughs> Not only does Nov nearly lose it after just a cursory glance, but when he reappears later, the experience has shown to have robbed him of all his hair to the extent he looks like he's well on his way to becoming a Chimera Ant himself. <laughs> Whoa. Boy, look like your eyelashes for hell, boy. You gotta go with that, fam. Go on, go ahead and do your serve justice. Uppercut him into the nearest um, planet. Number two. Oh, Yo, they put her so high up on the list. She is not that bad compared to the other people you've seen on the list. You've seen a man's face can be constructed, and you've seen that's not as bad as her overweight problem. Bro, come on, man. Yo. See, y'all making it sound like fat people are just like, just uh, unattractive. There's some attractive, attractive BBWs, man. Y'all wildin', bro. There's some attractive, uh, uh, what you call it, round people. Y'all wildin'. Y'all saying that, man, she look adorable to me. You know what I'm talking about? But the most adorable, uh, round, well-rounded character. <laughs> I like the way I said it. I like the way that it's Deku's mom, you know what I'm talking about. Now, I know I was getting on her earlier, I'm talking about some, but it, she's she's freaking adorable even when she's fat. But she was far when she was slim and trim, you know what I'm talking about. But you see how bad she looked back in the day, bro. Come on, bro. When I was a kid, I was like, Let me dive in. Oh, oh. What the Look, we're not shaming anyone here, but you have to admit this switch from spunky to extra chunky isn't exactly what we expected, especially for the sizzling snake shinobi we have all come to love. Shoot, I, I, instead of diving in uh, like I was talking about back then with her old self, I'm going to dive in some food with her. Ooh, I'm about to help you dive in to some food with you. That's all I'm trying to do with you. What you trying to do? Oh, get the burger. You got the fries. With everything nice, yeah. Right. Normally, we'd be happier with a thicker anko, 
but rather than the upgrade Deku's mom got, Anko came out of this looking like a granny somehow. Low key, I just, like off the top of the dome, I was just thinking of a character that she reminds me of. And I know this is a high key roast. I'm trying to compliment her, but I'm about to roast the hell out of her right now. So let me just, let me just burn her real quick and then slowly. Now, you know what happens in Powerpuff Girls when you add sugar, spice, and everything nice, right? Well, sometimes there's a problem with Chemical X. Ah, you this character. Ah. Now, don't tell. You can't tell me, low key. Low key, come on, man. I know you see the similarities, bro. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. What was that character's even name, bro? I don't even know. The fourth member? That's what they actually that ugly. They call it the fourth member. Got a glass! <laughs> Alright, get back to the video. Let's get back into the video. I gotta go very soon. What was originally a living reminder of Orochimaru's cruelty has now been relegated to a gag character with the occasional moments of coolness. We still love her, but man, she does not look like Anko. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified. Exactly. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified whenever I drop the next video. So we can watch more Mojo, Mojo together. You know what I'm talking about? Just anything we can watch together. Leave a comment. Re uh, what you want me to see me react to next? Road to 1K. You already know the dealio. All right, let's get back into today's video. Oh, uh, what was I about to say? I want to who's number one, though. About our latest videos, you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Broly. Dragon Ball Z. Bo what? Broly? When does Broly ever look? Why they got this man butt crack out? Broly. Come on now, pause on that. When have at Broly ever look ugh? When does he ever look fugly? I want to know this one. Like, what what process did Broly go through? Was this in Dragon Ball Super? Had to be, because there ain't no other part of the series I remember at all where he ever looked fugly. You know what I'm talking about? This man was bulky. This man looked like a Greek god on some uh, 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 Olympians type of, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, I forgot the name of that movie. But anyway, let's get back into it. This is definitely a low point for the Saiyan race. Where there was once pulsating almighty muscle that could devastate a planet, there is now a torrent of slime with only a few strands of blonde hair to remind us of what was once the legendary Super Saiyan. A crude clone with not even a fraction of the original's power the fact this thing was done in by Trunks and Goten of all people just pours salt in the wound. Holy, you're destroying my lab! My lab! If it hadn't been for... That's what you call him. He just looks like a swamp monster. I don't know what else to say on that. But dad, y'all really was about to put Anko as number one? This was what the closest thing... So before Anku was, like, come on, fam. Anku was not that bad, bro. Compared to the deep face, deep face construction dude that got his face re-injected. Re what, bro, come on, man. Whatever, but. All right, let's get back into it. Dragon Ball Super, this walking turd would have been Broly's legacy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other re- I agree to disagree. I agree to disagree. And what y'all should have did was top 10 anime characters who came back useless. That's what y'all should have did because of the great ones. Mike Guy, when that man came back with no leg, you might as well just let that man die like a champ, bro. Like, why bring Mike Guy back, bro? He had no freaking purpose, bro. Just let him die like a champ, man. You had let Neji die. die. Neji died over some stupid stuff. I was like, bro, come on, man. This man got a rock. He could have rotation palmed that. He could have rotation palmed that. Y'all really trying it. Y'all really trying it. And now of all people to get jacked up, it's him. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. But nah, come on, man. Y all, y all, I, this list was all right. I've seen some more ugly characters within anime series before. Uh, I won't give names because I can't think about the top of my head right now. But uh, yeah, man. This is a decent top 10. Uh, I don't agree with all their choices. 
But like from ten to five, I agree with their choices. But the last, the last two, I feel like there was more characters that look ugly than that in an uh, anime series. But um, outside of that, that's the next video. That's a wrap. Uh, no worries to be react to more Watch Mojo. Give me a suggestion on what Watch Mojo video you want me to react to next, so we can rewatch it together. Only on YouTube with GMB Reacts, and leave feedback. Love, uh, show some love in the comment section. I'll reply back. I love comments. I love feedback. And uh, tell me what y'all want to see me react to next. All right, this is your boy Jimmy Crazy, aka Jimmy Reacts. GMB out. Let's go. All right, man. Um, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow for day four of the 31 day reaction challenge. She can be out. Uh, how do I exit out of this? Me.